Hi, I'm going to show you a few different four bar linkage mechanisms that you can attach to an art bot to change its motion. This is kind of a basic art bot with a cup and some pens. At the end of the motor shaft, there's typically some sort of offset weight. So when it spins, the center of gravity moves in a circle and it wobbles. Simple motors give you simple rotary motion, but I wanted to try something different. So all of these were printed on a Bukito 3D printer. You can find a link to all the files at my Instructable. I've linked to the video notes so you can make one yourself. All these different linkages meet the Grashoff condition. For us, this means that one of these bars can spin. It's important since we want to attach it to a motor. Our input source will be continuous rotary motion. So we need to make sure it can use that motion. The link that spins is called the crank link. And you can tell it in all of these ones I've made as the shortest one. You'll see that the crank link is always second from the bottom. The bottom link in this mechanism stays still relative to the art bot, and that's called the ground link. Crank link, ground link. The crank link is the shortest one, but the ground link can be any of the other links you want it to be, and it'll change the way that it moves. So you can see in this one, Crank link's the shortest, ground link is the second shortest, and it will move like so when we turn the crank link. The motor will be attached using a motor pin, a special motor pin, through here and attached to the top of the crank link and controls that link. That's the motion you get from this one. The second one, you see we've got the crank link and the ground link, the one on the bottom. This one is the second longest one, so the motion's going to be a little bit different. You'll notice that I have these big spacers. These are just here so that the links don't bump into each other. Alrighty. And this third one. We've got the crank link, again, is the shortest. And on this one, the ground link is actually the longest one. This one makes a really interesting kind of movement. So when this crank link spins, you can see sometimes the link goes that way, sometimes it goes the other way. So this can give you a little bit of randomness depending on how it decides on moving, how it decides to turn. I like this one, it's interesting. So once again, I've got links to my Instructable in my video notes. There are instructions on how to make one yourself. Check it out and thanks for watching.